So, Crossfire, tell everyone what cards you teched in specifically for the Francisco mirror. <laughs> because you're like that. What are you talking about? I don't do that. Playline of the Void? Am I the only one playing blue here? I think so, yeah. Oh, God. Well, here comes Kalua, the no fun police. See whose deck is the fastest here? Oh, uh, well, I guess I was barking off the wrong tree. Whoa, all right, I'm gonna leaf. All right, we're branching out a little bit too far from the game. Let's rein it in. I've uh, I've never actually done explore before, so hopefully that never <laughs> comes up. <laughs> Land goes to your hand. Any other card you can put, keep on top or put in your graveyard. It's it, It'll be okay. Hold it in my hands and feel comforted by its warmth. You just got the double bird. Rock eat your heart out. Oh, come on! Every Kahlua video. Well, screw it, I guess. I think it's time we blow this thing. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Kalua Lua. In this episode, I am playing Ishai, a very popular commander, along with this one. I don't, I'm not sure if you've heard of it. Uh, it's called Francisco Fowl Marauder. I think it's a bird pirate. It has flying. It can't block. And if one or more pirates you control deals damage to a player, it will explore. Not many people have heard of this one before, so it's uh, pretty unique and original. I kept a five. Kalua's opening hand contains Command Tower, Hallowed Fountain, Mana Vault, Demonic Tutor, and Talisman of Dominance. Down to only five, but there is still a little action. Will it be enough? Wait, so I'm also playing Francisco Fowl Marauder? Hold on. I'm just now looking at this. Are we all playing Francisco Fowl Marauder? Wait a no. second. Wait, what? Yeah. I think we are all playing Francisco Foul Marauder. I thought I clearly called that one. When yeah, we were talking wait a about second. It, Didn't I, I call not. Dibs on Francisco? <laughs> clearly, I, I called Dibs on Francisco. I said I was Hold playing on. Francisco. Uh, well, hmm. screw That's it, I awkward. guess. I might have said Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think I'm... Oh, well. <laughs> well, I'm playing Francisco Jessica. It is uh, a, a Rakdos deck that is just packed full of uh, cool and powerful things to do. And uh, I have Mulligan to four, so we don't get to do that many of those things this game. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we're, we're ready to go. Also, I'd like to know I've wrapped myself in a tortilla because I'm a birdie though. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's cold in the stream room today. <laughs> Josh's opening hand contains Necromancy, Bloodstained Mire, Vampiric Tutor, and Shatter Skull Smashing. A turn one Vamp Tutor to get him back in the game. I'm Crossfire. I'm uh, also playing Francisco, but I'm also playing Akiri, and I decided to cheat a little bit at Magic because I'm playing a third commander, which is Loris of the Dream Den. Not really a third commander, but it does Mardu Breach things without the Tim, though, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I kept a six. Crossfire Cat's opening hand contains Ad Nauseam, Talisman of Hierarchy, Final Parting, Mana Vault, Beseech the Mirror, and the Mana Confluence. If he finds that second land, it could be a turn to Nas. Hi everybody, my name is Scoots. Uh, I'm also playing Francisco. I decided to play Francisco Kodama because it's a spirit and a bird, aka a poultry geist. Uh, and I, I really liked that word. Um, 
as is my custom on the Kalua Lua YouTube channel, I kept a very, very dicey seven. Uh, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Scoots' opening hand contains Kite Sail Freebooter, Agatha's Soul Cauldron, Diabolic Intent, Arcane Signet, Mana Crypt, Vampiric Tutor, and a Viscera Seer. But you have a Mana Crypt into Signet into Vampiric Tutor. Will it work? Let's find out. All right. Any pre games? Not yet. Good luck. Have fun. You too. A man tower. Cast a mana vault. Float one for a talisman. Take a damage. Cast my bird. Ooh. Turn one bird. Get wrecked. I'll pass. Rugrack, eat your heart out. That's pretty good. I'll draw. I'm going to play this bloodstained mire. I'll pass it up. Classic mulligan to four land pass. I am going to draw for turn. Play a monitor countenance. I'm going to pay one life, tap it, add a mana, doesn't matter, and play a mana vault. Nice. Okay. I'm going to tap the mana vault, cast a talisman of hierarchy. Hold on. Okay. Wait, back to <laughs> Francisco. Wait. And then I'm going to deal one damage to myself to add a black and cast Francisco and pass huh. the turn. I don't know if I can follow up with those. You just got the double bird. I'm going to draw a card for turn. I'm going to cast a Mana Crypt. I'm going to tap it for two colorless. I'm going to cast an Arcane Signet. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Then tap. Draw, take a damage. Marsh Flats. I'll crack a fetch. Tap two and cast a Demonic Tutor. Okay. Pass priority. It's good here. Cast a Remora. No. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. And sadly, my bird doesn't have any power on it, so it can't trigger itself. Um, Thanks, uh, Gavin. I might, I might do something with your remora on the stack if I get priority on it. I'm just gonna think about it. I also want to do something with the remora on the stack. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna crack this bloodstained mire and lose ourselves a life. Get a bad lands. Cast this vamp tutor. Weirdly, I'm going to respond to that, and I'm going to put a vamp tutor on the stack. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wild. Josh, I'll tell you. I'm putting okay. command tower on the top of my deck, and then uh, you're good to resolve your tutor. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm not putting command tower on top of my deck. I'm putting a different card on top mm. of my deck, but I'm happy that you're putting command tower on top of your deck. So One I of the things that I really like about Moxfield now is it highlights all your lands when you use your library. We put a card on top and we've lost two life. You may continue with your mystical remoras. Has resolved and I have passed the turn. Your turn. Good. Play this Shatter Skull, the Hammer Pass. Okay, and I've heard of that one. That's a sweet card in Francisco because it's not a land for explore. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's more tech from, from Tad. So that's the other person who's building this deck with me. We'll play this dock side that nobody knew that I had. Is that okay? Like a seven. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's One, two, tier. three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. That's many. You can cast Francisco now. How about instead we just do crazy stuff because <laughs> we we're at like two cards in hand and cast the Wheel of Fortune. I... If you don't, if you counterspell this, I will kill your bird. Just so you know. <laughs> Uh, I'll pass on my fish trigger. Now Wheel of Fortune is on the stack. Crossfire? I have no response to Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I guess I'll pass on it. You get your command tower, Scott. It resolves. I, listen, I wanted the rest of my hand, Josh, if I'm honest. I'm discarding this Necromancy. I okay. was gonna tutor for Entomb and then, oh. you know, uh, silly things, but we didn't really need to go for that. Crossfire, what are you doing? Catacombs beseech the mirror Final parting and ad nauseum. Oh. A Mox Diamond, a Viscera Seer, a Diabolic Intent, a Kite Sail Freebooter, and an Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah, get him mm. out of here. Uh, I had a Windfall and a Hallowed Fountain. Springleaf Drum. Triggerfish. You can draw. Yep. My own Francisco. Oh. Yes. Yep. All right, I'm going to untap and draw by hitting this next turn button. We'll play land. Where I'd put my hand if I had one. <laughs> exactly. 
I'm going to cast a, a Lotho. Okay. All right. I'm going to pass. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to click my next turn button. I flipped a Tails. I will lose three. Uh, I'd like to, interestingly enough, play this Command Tower. And then I think I would like to cast Green Dockside Extortionist. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, wait, no, my Dockside Extortionist. Trigger fish? Oh, yeah, go go ahead. You can draw. Stop him, Blue Deck. Stop him. Hey. Get him. I wish I could. Uh, I pass on your calling ritual. But Kalua, it's Control Winter. I'll respond by cracking two treasures. Uh, yeah. One for a red and one for a black. Okay. Tap for a white and lose a life. And uh, I'm going to cast an orange chain. Don't, 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 wait, 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 yeah, hold on. Don't do wait, that. Yeah. Wait, you would ask hold me on. to guess the card you're going to play when you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just casting my commander. Don't let him. No, That's yeah, it. Your commander I'm, don't let him. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no way, man. I'm sorry. If we're being sent back to the Stone Age, we're all being sent back. Uh, Triggerfish. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll make uh, a lot of mana, and I'll uh, just let it empty and pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Shock for two. Oswald Fiddlebender. That's good. Cast a Mox Opal. Oh god, he's gonna start bending fiddles. I discard a Pluty Duty, and I pass. Okay. We got a lot of lands up in this hand here. We'll crack this, lose a life. We're gonna go get ourselves a basic swamp. Play a soul ring. Um, I'm gonna respond to your soul ring. Okay. This misstep. Damn. But now that I can't cast Francisco, I am gonna cast Jessica. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Got him. I'm just being cheeky. I'll pass. I'll hit this next turn button. Yeah, I think I'm just, like, passing the turn here. I'll click a card, and I'll flip for my crypt. The heads this time. I'll play this Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth, and I'll cast a Talisman. I'm done. I'll pass. Untap. Up, keep draw. I will eat my Mox Opal. Okay. Wild. I'm gonna respond <laughs> respond to that. Oh, ooh, you ooh, 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 ooh. Is it an archivist of Ligma? <laughs> it is an archivist of Ligma. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, <laughs> no, it can't play Oppo. Yeah, I was like, oh can't my god. Can't play Oppo so in this. I'll respond. Okay. I'm gonna cast an N team. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Almost as good as in Thream. Nice. I'm passing though. I got nothing. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll pass on it. Yeah, I'm passing. But Mr. Ballista. Oh, that's now let's see who us. can get the cauldron first. I pass on your Ogma. That's yeah. very cavalier just putting a Ballista into the graveyard. Is that Sol Ring? Yep. Oh, I'm so good at predictions. You are. And or suggestions. <laughs> You're running on pure instinct right now, Josh. I can tell. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so tired. But it's okay. I'm a cozy burrito, and we're you, happy. You look very warm, yeah. Yeah. Now that the searching's done, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, draw your card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gain life. Uh, I will pass the turn. Our turn. Yeah, no, we're gonna play this one. What if okay. hills? Get a land out of our deck. Uh, I have a response to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Mr. Apple. You have a blood crypt. I'll uh, gain a life and draw a card. After that, I will cast Jessica and kill uh, both the Kalua's creatures and the Archivist of Agma. No. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, pass. This sucks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go shields down, play a Wish Claw Talisman, and pass the turn. Wait, you have shields? All right, I'm gonna <laughs> click next turn. I'm gonna flip my coin. I ate to tails. I will go to 34. Polluted Delta. Crack my fetch with impunity. I will retrieve my my bayou from my library. Put that into play. I have completed my turn. I will pass. Untap. Oh. I shall shock in your blood crypt. Cast a mana crypt. I'm gonna cast my commander. 
Which one? Francisco. Uh, I have a colorless floating. We'll cast a ranger captain. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, search good. Any apples? No. This time, no. Uh, I shall get the Esper. I am gonna crack my ranger captain. Do it, Scott. Kill his Francisco. I'll, I'll, I'll respond. Yep. To the ranger captain crack. I'll flash in an activated sleeper. A what? An activated sleeper? I'm gonna have activated sleeper enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature card in a graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Except oh, it's a Phyrexian wow. in addition to its other types. That's cheeky. That's I'll so have incredibly it. niche. It's very useful in this situation specifically. Yeah, in this <laughs> yeah. exact situation, it is useful. That's really <laughs> sick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got it, you got it. It's a ranger captain. Uh, oh. crack, 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 with its crack, crack. ETB on the stack, I'm gonna crack my ranger captain. <laughs> I flew too close to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you flew too close to the incredibly specific sun. Yeah. Uh, one incredibly specific that? star. I know. Yeah. I, how did I not see this? How could you, how could you know? Uh, all right, let's see. What am I gonna get with my trigger? Probably a... Pop. Carrion feeder, and I'll put that in my hand. Well, everyone knows what I got, so I will pass turn. All right, that's okay. We're gonna draw not a land. Ironically, we drew mana crypt. Does this get counterspelled too? No, I <laughs> was nice. trying to slow people down so I could win on my last turn. Yeah, I like winning. That's good. <laughs> winning. Um, I'm gonna play another land. Hey, at least you got a mana crypt. Uh, let's let's play Jessica. Kill yes. Francisco by minus wanting her. I will respond. I'll eat it instead. Okay. Nice. How does it taste? Tastes a lot like Urza's Battle Thopter. Stringy. Ooh. Liberator. Neat. That is indeed neat. I will pass the turn. Shimmer stuff. Okay. I'm going to next Ooh, turn this and. Pray for yeah, a land. Instant speed. That's exciting. Sometimes magic's good to me. I'm gonna play a wooded foothills. Wow, you got a land. Thank you. I'm gonna pay one life and search my library. Tap that for a black and play a Stitcher supplier. Assuming I get to untap, of course. That's a yep. good card. If this, if that resolve. Yep. Uh, there's an ETB on the stack. With the ETB on the stack, I'm gonna pay one life and I'm gonna calling the week. Oh, nice. Supplier. Value. Wow, there's another trigger on the stack now. Okay, so I'm going to mill a Luxury Suite, a Mox Amber, and a Grand Abolisher. Okay, so I'm going to add four black mana, and there's still the other ETB trigger on the stack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to respond to that, activate this Wish Claw Talisman. May I have it? And is that good to resolve? I wish it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you, Josh. I think that's I'll hold it in my fair. hands and feel comforted by its warmth. Great. Would you like to now cast your underworld preach? <laughs> Listen, Scott. I hate you. <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, well, first, I hand. have, I have the, I have the to resolve, uh, milling three more cards. You're attacking. Oh, which is one of them is a grinding station <laughs> and cast an underworld breach. Pass. Yeah, I pass. Still got nothing. Nobody has anything? anything. I have 18 cards currently in the oh, graveyard, yeah, so yeah. I can uh, establish a loop with the Stitcher Supplier and the Culling the Week. Mm. Um, milling my graveyard until I get to and adding mana until I get to uh, walking blista and the soul cauldron for that combo. What if uh, ballista is your last card and then you don't have a card to explore? Then actually, yeah, it, it still that works. wins the game. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> Confirmed by judges. If there's no card oh. in your library, it is a non land. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yep. good to know. It happens. GG's. Crossfire Cat, what do you have going